quite insane because there is no stopping suyo he will just come from nowhere of the map mark you and retreat without you even knowing and with the damage he deals it's it's quite harsh and it's unstoppable to be honest and that mm pick coming in by that uh, creator right now we can see he's gone with the moscow pick so far and there comes the vexana pick so far it's just the three picks and what are your thoughts on this fredo i mean the second ban is going to start yeah definitely i mean in the first phase of the match i feel like you know i feel like team ign have done a decent job with their draft but i feel like team sds has done a better draft than them because i mean they have the mincitar here which is no joke because it counters all the crowd control skills that the enemy has to throw on you and that is why i feel like even though you said the suyo will dive in and dive out of those team fights the mincitar i feel like you know if he goes into that room then it's going to be very difficult for that you know suyu to be participating in those ganks because he won't be able to dish in and out if the mincitar is there in that room area so yeah it will definitely be something to look out for if respect can outplay this mincitar pick coming in from team sds and yeah with that i feel like the second you know second phase has already started and look at those bans coming in already the valentina has just been denied to the side of team ign because they do not want any of the ultimates to get picked up in this team fight from the enemy side because look at that they have the king's calling they have the eternal guard as well on top of that the you know the raging sandstorm is also a very good ultimate for the initiation so i feel like you know team sds are doing a very good job in their draft i mean they are trying they have uh, picked their top hero so i agree with those picks they are actually quite strong to be honest So yeah, that's understandable. And with that, they're actually going to ban out that Carmilla, just banning out the curse of blood through the map, making sure there is no Carmilla in this game uh, to give those combos. And it's going to be quite hard. Carmilla would have been picked by IG in at this point. So understandable. With that, Hayabusa is just going to be banned off, making sure the assassin pool is quite limited. And there comes the Aurora pick by that witch, and that Aurora is going to be such a chaos, such a pain. I, who is going to stop? So now the final pick is the tank pick, and quite surprisingly, Kimi has gone with that Tigreal pick. So I think uh, IGN have finalized their draft, and right now we can see SD is going in with those last two picks. That's going to be the Leslie and Bane Hyper. Bane in the jungle lane is quite monstrous, to be honest. It's quite hard to deal with him. So I think right now the drafts are up so fred what are your thoughts on that well definitely i feel like you know both the teams have done a pretty good job with their drafts the last picks coming in from ign the aurora and the tigreal those are two very good picks but the tigreal against the mincitar again like i'm saying this mincitar is the key to victory here for the side of team sds they have to utilize the mincitar to his max potential because the enemy heroes are just all you know all countered by him and that is why the mincitar will be the key to victory here for team sds and with that i feel like we are Going to witness a very exciting match because SDS has done a very good job against Team IGN, at least in their draft for now. Yep, we are in the land of dawn, guys, and the game has already begun. And right now, we can see that Suyo is going for the red buff, while meanwhile, we can see that Bane is going for the blue. And Khalid already on the map of oh, IGN. That confidence is what I need in my life, to be honest. The flicker was faded out, but the distribution landed on time. Khalid over extension will be paying off wildly. To be honest, so I just realized that Khalid is going to be the roamer, and Minzatar is going to be the EXP laner. So Khalid is going to make sure that all the buffs are being interrupted. But for how long? The first blood is already given off, and right now we can see that flicker from that Vexana man almost caught, but that flicker was quite handy. Definitely, but it's a very big resource, you know. to be used before the first turtle and look at that in the gold lane though look at that fight going on between those two gold laners it feels like definitely team sds is winning out i do agree sds is kind of winning out but for how long because the backup has come there is being who is already level 4 suyo who is still struggling to be level 4 to be honest as much expecting that but that is the reality and the what that retribution from the from the so you will be used off i mean the turtle is going to up the retribution will be there but uh, right now i can just see the poking coming off from both but i just realized that suyo don't have to be level 4 to engage in the team fight so yeah that is actually a plus point about suyo just level 3 and you can go into those team fights and knock out the enemies there is phobius in quite a tough position Yeah, right now it feels like he's trying to do a three v one there. He definitely knows he cannot take those blows early in the match, so he has to back off there. And it feels like the turtle is already started by the Suyu, though. But it will be reset immediately. That Khalid trying to zone him out, and the Phobius has dived in onto that Bane right now. And it feels like the deadly catch has been used as well. Phobius takes down the Bane already. Frigid Glacier connects onto three members, though. Double kill for Anti, and it feels like Vivich will be the one taking that kill on that Vexana there. And four kills already into the favor of IGN. Oh my God, what a good start to the game. Game for Team IGN. 
Yep, but the creator might be in trouble or not really. Just a recall, but the first lord will be taken by IG and that uh, flicker ultimate coming in by V, which was so good. But Mr. Tarin, the bot might be in trouble. Oh. Not really. Oh, that was so close, but. Damn that Khalid with that flicker ultimate just took a shutdown on that Phobia. So very smart move coming in. Trying to chase that Suya is not a smart choice though. I mean, definitely he was able to zone him out in that situation. He will be delayed, you know, in the in in jungling. So yeah, that is why I feel like even though the Khalid was not taking his you know, enough time, but like now look at that Tigreal catches out that Dexana there. Oh my God, Kimi, a very nice move coming in from your side, and it feels like Aaron the Creator is facing some problems against the Leslie due to his range, but Kimi is there to help him out. I do agree, and the goal difference is already 2k. They have the map control, but to be honest, uh, SDS have that Khalid, and I'm, I'm not going to lie, but that Khalid is giving quite a tough time to uh, IGN at this point. But again, the rotation matters that Vexana was caught off guard twice, and that pair off very badly. They need that mid laner to be strong enough to make sure she's there in the back to deal damage and not just roam around in the map freely while we know that IGN is playing. They are going to make a lot of fights coming. Nah, nah, is Leslie going oh, to be The Leslie might get caught out. Respect. We literally need some respect right now because look at that. They're just taking down Khalid inside the tower for God's sake. Khalid, I mean, smiling. Can you believe a Khalid being taken down inside the tower early in the game? Not even five minutes yet. Well, that, that's hard to believe. But again, guys, it's IGN. They can do anything at this point. And that being trying to just poke that Tigreal, not throwing that Aurora is with them. Mintatar might be in trouble, but that flicker use was quite handy. I mean, IGN is just so good in forcing out, you know, the battle spells early before the team fights, you know, because it just provides some more utility for the team. And right now, look at that Phobias though. Oh, the Aurora, sorry, the Khalid charges in with his Raging Sandstorm. Another resource wasted before the Turtles. So it definitely feels like right now, you know, the side of Team SDS not in the situation to take any fights right now. But look at that Khalid though. He's doing a pretty good job supporting that Leslie in the goal lane. They will be able to get the Tier 1 turret easily. And yeah, with that, I feel like Moskov is facing a very you know hard time in that goal lane. Aaron the creator, even though he's on a 2-0-1, the Leslie's having an easier time in that lane. I mean, uh, with the Bane and that Khalid were like, we know we are not going to get the turtle, so let's just go in for the split push. A tier is actually in managed to take that, so I think that was a good thing in coming in. But there goes Aurora, there goes Tigreal. Yeah, definitely feels like, oh, look at the engage look coming in from the Khalid. Trading stamps from Dun doesn't connect in the best way possible. And that is why they were not able to take down that Aurora there, the Phobias and the Tigreal as well. You know, look at that HP. They're barely able to survive. If the, uh, you know, if his ultimate Raging Sandstorm connected there, it was definitely a sure kill there. But right now, look at that respect. He's trying to gank in on that Leslie. He knows he's there. He's able to take down, you know, zone him out there. And that is why they will get the tier one as well. Yep, IGN playing very, very organizingly. They are focusing on the objectives. They have the 8 kill, they have 3 gig only, they have the 2 turtle, and the 3rd turtle is going to spawn, but not quite easily. And in the bot, again, SD is going in for that split push composition at this point, but there is Tyrael just to make sure that minions are on hold. And to be honest, SDS are giving tough time, but they are missing out quite a few points. There is Leslie. They better be marking that Leslie quite often because she is on 0 and 0, but it's going to be hard if she's just farmed up to that position that she can melt them down. So, yeah, I don't think that's going to happen, but I'm just, you know, mentioning it out if wanted. But right now, Anti might be in trouble because he is in the 4v1 situation. I will take yeah, definitely. Long. Definitely, but look at that AXP lane though right now. It feels like the Minstar will get caught out as well. 1v1 trade in the opposite side of the maps. But it feels like, look at that IGN's players. No, they definitely prioritize the lane with the... Oh, look at that. Aaron, the creator, you did a very big mistake there. You, he will be going down, I feel. Yeah, he will be going down there. And the turret, you know, sorry, the Moscow will be going down. But the turtle definitely goes into the side of Team IGN again. I mean, that Bane is not stopping. The Bane is just pushing from top to bot, bot to top. And that Tigreal will be taken down as well. Yeah, look at that Leslie as well taken down. Phobias jumps in, shut down, secured there by Anti. And look at that respect coming in in the right times for the cleanup. The you know the Khalid, I do not feel like he can escape there. Look at that Vexana as well taken down already. Khalid taken down as well, almost a wiped out if not for that Minstar there. Oh my God, it's a total domination coming in from Team IGN. I do agree, the domination is so hard that it's so hard to deal with, and Minstar just charging that ultimate. And there is Leslie to give those shots. I mean, she tried, but it was not possible enough. They are going in for the mid tier, and now the map is open for IG, and they can go in for the buff stream. They can go in for the fight and composition they need. I mean, it's just 
just it's, it's not even nine minutes in the game. They have taken so many players down. They are on thirteen kills. They have the goal lead. First Lord is going to spawn, so they have the whole map control at this point. Bane is trying, but Bane is not in the team fight. Bane is going for the split push. They are trying to catch out one member in one side rather than you know going in for the team fights. Definitely, I mean the fact that which is on that Aurora, which is on that Aurora is the biggest, you know, is the biggest problem for SDS right now. Because even if they want to look for the engage, the Aurora with her frigid glacier is there to counter engage on you. So it, you know, you definitely have to bait out that, you know, frigid glacier before you go in for the engage right now. And that is why they are not able to win in those team fights. Yep, that uh, which is very strong with that. Uh... Aurora and it's going to be a huge troublesome because they oh, are oh, going oh, to that so the engage coming in from that Kimi three people caught into that implosion there anti is there as well king's calling being popped off but no use there IGN survives the entire team fight under the turret with no minions and oh my goodness oh my goodness what a you know what a gameplay such a beautiful gameplay coming in from IGN there I mean that Kimi with the flicker was the best thing I ever saw till today just diving in into that turret and that Probe is managing to secure those triple kill. They are definitely going to go with the Lord. They're just going to make sure the Lord is taken out without any countries. They have the lead, they have the damage, they have the map control. They can at this point, you know, end with the first Lord to be honest. They are IGN. They can uh, wipe out them and end the game very easily because, come on, they are IGN. That is a uh, we which right now in the bot lane. Uh, just making sure to clear those minions off because I think they are going to quite synchronize the lane if possible or they might just go in for that dominating and uh, they are going to make sure that uh, they might and possibly there is Khalid to provide vision but I think too much further Khalid they need to go for the defense mode right now definitely it feels like they have to defend this lord look at that lane sync as well coming in from IGN there you know all the three lanes marching at the same time and look at that Bane has forced to use his deadly catch early and that means right now Kimi can look for that key boy moment again but you know the lord is taken down way too early for do you know for them to do that and it definitely feels like we have to wait for Kimi to do that key boy moment again just a while ago i mean the flicker is still on cooldown or probably you know, the flicker is on the cooldown there is a fight already yeah, look at that, you know, look at that. Oh, MK, King's Calling connecting though this time. Four members, two members still surviving though. They will be able to defend the base right now. And it feels like, you know, Kimi has to go down there. So I feel like Team IGN are left all on their own. This time Kimi won't be there to, you know, engage for those setups. But it definitely feels like they can, you know, end this game if they want right now. And right now, look at that, you know, look at that phobia. So he's going in, charging in on that base. Moskov, Aaron the Creator, locking down that base turret. And they will be definitely able to end this game. And the first win for IGN in this tournament. Wow, what a day to witness this. Smiling. Yep, that was an interesting or quite a dominating game coming in that respect on the Tsuyo completely nailed this game and to be honest, Vibichi actually provided a lot of backup and that Kimi man, those ultimates coming in by that Kimi. Some